Hi, it's Donna here. I'm with Contour Creations for today. And I'm going to show you a project I made with just some of these items. And what I wanted to show you was this board. I It's a scoreboard. I love it. And the reason I love it is because it has inches and it has um, centimetres on it. But I work in one eight, so one eight, two eights, three eights, four eights, whatever. And um, this has that right across. And look, I, I love it. For any of smaller projects or anything, this is perfect. And what I also love is this little tip on it. It's beautiful because it gets right in there and it's sharp as. Love it. Can't recommend it enough. And on the back, um, you've got some other things here. And so and you've got your uh, measurement measurements here to make cards and envelopes. Brilliant. Love it. Okay. The other thing I want to show is my pearls. I use them all the time. If you've seen any of my projects, you know I have. And this one's Glamorous Gold. I think they're wonderful. Okay. Uh, I've also used, for this project, alcohol ink blending solutions and heaps of alcohol inks. Um, these are the pearls. I'm not sure if you've actually seen the pearls, but they are gorgeous. I'll show you something in a moment. And these ones here are the, called the Golden Age ones. And this one's verdant. And you've got to shake it. It needs to have that ball sound. And what that does, it takes all the pigment off the bottom and then it just makes it absolutely gorgeous. Okay. And I will show you. Oh, I'll show you these first. Um, I've coloured all my images in with them alcohol ink markers. And I have... A whole box of these um, and I love them uh, they do really well um, I store them in that because they actually come in that box as you can see alcohol ink markers the twin tips and I absolutely love them um, this is on my project I have used this which is the synthetic papers and the alcohol ink so as you can see the shine on that that's the pearl um and that's just gorgeous this is this one this is the golden age one and you get all different colors in this and absolutely gorgeous so you can see the golds in that absolutely beautiful um the golds here again uh, alcohol, alcohol ink pearl um, and you can, I hope you can see that gold through that. Actually, what I did with this was I put lots of um, the blending solution and just dropped it and it just came down. It was, I think it was lovely. But see that shine? That's a pearl. I'm very partial to the golds and the pearls. Um, I've got these left over, but I'm making another project, so I will be using some of these. I'm also, these are the stamps that I've used for my project. Uh, and these are the stamp and colour, and I absolutely love, love, love these. They are so gorgeous. Look at that. Man, that is just so beautiful. And this one here. Of course, I cannot colour like this, by the way. I'm a very basic colourer. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that one. Wow. And the tulips. Aren't they beautiful? And I've used these on my project. So let me show you what my project is. Is that. Okay. And I'm going to just bring this light a little bit more. I am trying to figure out my lighting system. But oh my goodness. It's not easy to do, is it? Um, I've made a belly band with this. Okay. And you take slip the belly band off. And as you can see, I have used these stamps. Uh, one of the stamps for the belly band and it's got lots of glitter and stuff in it and that's like um like a kindy glitz kind of thing so that's what that is um so this is how it goes let me move that to a sign so you open that up you open that up you open that up okay and as you can see i have used all the flowers um and then you turn it over at the back and you open that up. Okay. So that's simply one 12 by 12 piece of paper. And I've actually made this for a swap. And I hope they like this. Because um, it was fun to do, I'll tell you. So, 
what I've got in my pockets here, I've made some little pockets, is I've used um, a sort of um, the Contour Creation dies and stamps and things. So the collections I've used is Cherish Friends, Go Girl Collection, Steampunk Dreams. Okay, so it's Blooming Friendships, Cherish Friendship. No, the stamp is a Cherish Friendship. Sorry, so it's Blooming Friendships, You Go Girl Collection, Steampunk Dreams Collection. Okay, so that's what I've done, and these are just some little um, die cuts. In this one here, I've made two pockets. This one is some again some die cuts and this one here is I stamped out some words, cut them out and I just thought they'd be handy. These were some scraps I had left over from the alcoholing paper. Love that. And that one just simply fits in there. How easy is that? Um, just a, a, a tip for you though. Sometimes you put the little bags in and um, the air pockets get in it. Just grab a little skewer or a little pin and punch the bags and the air will come out of it and easy to pack away for you. Okay. So this is one 12, 12, 12 by 12 piece of paper. And what I've simply done is folded these two up and one at the back. I've folded that up as well. Okay. So as you can see, the, I've coloured them all in. They look gorgeous, don't they? And you just put them down and there. Okay, then turn it over, turn that air, and I've just done some tags in a um, a cream and white. Just some tags. Nice, nice little idea, I thought. And as you can see, lots of little bits of glitter and, and stuff through it. Um, and I love, this is where all the alcohol ink papers come from. I've used that as the backs. And I've just did a red, um, just to highlight the, the colours, basically. Now, I didn't put the, the a lot of bling in that, uh, it pearls or bling, and that's simply because when you go to fold it, you don't want it too bulky. And that one folds up, see? That's the back. Quite nifty. What do you think? Let me show you how I did it. It's really simple. You're going to get a shock. Right, so it's one 12 by 12 piece of paper. Let me get this out for you. Okay, there you go. One 12 by 12 piece of paper. Let me move this out of your way. And let me show you how I made it. Okay. So, quite easy. Now, I this is a scrap piece for me because I always do a template. Um... And honestly, I advise you to do templates. It's just so much easier. Right. So the measurements are, I, it makes sense to me, but you're going to have to sort of do it yourself. Um, the measurements are 12 by 12. You score it at 3 and 8. You turn it, and you can either turn it that way, and be careful of the pattern on the papers because... Um, depending on which way you turn it, your pattern, remember, you're putting one up the other way. Okay? So, turn it, you scored at 4 and 9. Again, 3 and 8, turn it, scored at 4 and 9. Then, burnish it all. Okay? I do it both ways. I actually burnish both ways. Okay? And then, I do burnish it that way as well. Okay, so I do it both ways. And that way, I think it just makes it easier for when you go to fold a thing together. Okay, that's the basis of this. Okay, now what you do, I've used these at the bottoms for me because they're the shorter. Um, these are three by four, so it's four by three. This one is five by three. This one here is three by three. Okay, so that's your measurements. Um, now, what I've done here, I've actually put pages. So I've got cut one. I only need to cut one mat there. I only need to cut one mat there. Um, and what I call mats on this case is this here. That's my mat. Okay. So that's how I've worked mine out. Um, 
so and when you cut it always put a gap in it like this it just folds so much easier you will honestly you will be thankful you did that okay and then what i did was i measured these to do the mats so when i pull this out that's what it would look like okay that's what it would look like now these bits here are these two so i've folded them up folded them up and i'll fold it that one under okay this one here i fold it down it goes down actually i think that's upside down no oh it goes this way oh okay goes this way let's start that again will we let's start that again all right so that's how it goes so let's start that again folded that up folded that up folded that under see what i mean about your pattern i fold it that down i fold it that down and i fold it that under okay did you understand that now what i've done though is i've glued this to you i've just glued the sides there and the sides there to give me pockets on the back i have actually glued these two sides to give me a pocket okay and that's how it goes i hope you understand that it is basically quite simple because all you do is fold up fold up and fold under fold down fold down fold under see really simple now if you know want to know the measurements of the map of the mats my apologies which are these pieces here this bit here these here these bits here and i just had scraps left so i just put stuff like that on it you know okay uh these are the mats if you want to know the measurements of the mats they are two and three quarters by three and three quarters four and five eighths by three and three quarters three and three quarters by three and three quarters three and three quarters by four and three quarters four and three quarters by four and three quarters the mat is four and three quarters and four and three quarters a mat is two and three quarters by four and three quarters that's because it's high um this one is two and three quarters by two and three quarters this mat is two and three quarters by four and five eighths two and three quarters by three and three quarters now when i say five eighths four eighths is a half of an inch so it'll be well, this one doesn't go up to oh, it goes up to four and five eighths so i don't know if you could see there's four and you count five one two three four five and it'll be that line there that's why this board is so good so simple to use okay and you cut up to the first score line cut up to that well to that middle score line and then it's simply fold 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 down fold down fold back fold back okay now you you can choose how you want to do that you can go that one first and then that one or you can choose to go that way and go over like that so you can choose that and don't forget your back piece here so it's it's oh, that one should be under so you can choose how you want to do it okay but really experiment get the scrappiest bit of paper you don't like do that experiment that's what i did experiment 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 i got this um i'm in a swap with uh, a group and i got that off them so i'm not where this where this originally come from i'm not sure but it is a lady on the internet i will try to find it for you um this design so it is not my design um but i just thought i'd show you what i did with that i made it mine okay because you can do all different things with it you can put pockets here you can put vellum on it you can do all sorts of things okay again mine goes down goes down this is where that little gaps come in handy 
over, over. That looks beautiful because I've gone over the edge, as you can see. And then simply put your belly band on wherever my belly band's gone. Okay. Hope you like that. I hope you um, enjoyed that. Any questions? Look, just ask them away. Just jot down a note and say, Hey, Donna, I have no idea what you're talking about. Can you explain that a bit better? Um, and I will do, if I can. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate it. Check out our blog. Check out, well, you're on my, you're on my uh, YouTube channel, probably. So check it all out. Um, check out what Contour Creations got, because they, they do have some good stuff. Um, and I hope you enjoyed that. And like I said, these are absolutely gorgeous. I didn't colour like these, because mine looks nothing like that. Okay. But they're beautiful anyway. Thanks a lot. I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.